There are a lot of tips about living frugally all over the internet, but none of them are more reliable than practical tips by women who came before us, and I am talking about our grannies. Here are 15 tips I grew up watching my grandmother do. Some of them I've applied to my quest of living frugally, and I'm never surprised that they work. 15. Repurpose old items. This foolproof frugal tip is repurposing old items already inside your house. This tip does not just apply to reusing food containers instead of buying new Tupperware all the time. It will include practical tips like saving your coffee grounds to be used as body scrubs or saving newspapers and using them for cleaning walls or windows. These tips from grandmothers not just work beautifully, but they will also ensure that we will not part with a single dollar, which is integral for saving up and being frugal. 14. Instead of throwing out clothing, mend them. There are a lot of temptations in buying cheap and widely available fast fashion. Not only is this impractical, but it can also cost a lot of harm to the environment. A great tip that any grandma would advise for fashion is learning how to mend clothing. This can be anything from learning to patch holes, learning basic alteration techniques, or even sewing buttons. This works for clothes but can also work with everything from a blanket to towels. Learning to mend will not only prolong the life of our clothes but will also work for thrifted articles of clothing. 13. Always think about using anything just enough. Almost everyone in this world grows up with a grandmother who always discourages using too much in everything from shampoo to the food set on the table. Taking this advice is key to frugal living. Making sure that we are using just enough will help us save money, but doing it long term is also a good habit. From a bottle of shampoo to dish soap, learning to use them just enough will help you go through fewer consumables in a month. 12. Stick to produce that are in season. Another thing many grandmothers emphasize is picking in-season produce for all the foods you prepare. In-season foods are cultivated and harvested in abundance, meaning that they are often less expensive. On the other hand, produce out of season will come with a higher price tag, upping the cost allocated for groceries. To take it further, limit your shopping to produce sold at your local farmer's market. You support the locals and buy food at a lower price since you buy directly from the producer. 11. Avoid eating out, cook at home. Nowadays, it is impossible not to be tempted to eat out, especially for people with hectic daytime schedules. One of the things that grandmothers are good at is cooking, and growing up, some of us have never seen anything pre-cooked or pre-cut in their kitchens. They will rationalize it as the pre-cut foods are not worth the extra dollar it will cost them, and many find pleasure in taking time to prepare their food. Home-cooked meals don't have to be complex, and learning recipes with the same base, like potatoes, beans, or rice, will cut costs and give variety. 10. Believe in the power of less is more when it comes to food preparation. Since food can take up most of the budget, here is another foolproof granny tip. Not wasting anything on your plate. This will mean portion control which can sound bad, but when thinking about the amount of leftovers after a single serving, Cooking enough if you are living alone is the best action. Cooking enough will not only lessen food waste but will save you from taking an emergency grocery trip at least two to three times. 9. Try being meatless. Start at one day a week. Grandmothers know that meat every day of the week is nutritionally unnecessary and expensive. Sometimes meat every meal is also something that they cannot afford with more than two kids at home. Instead of meat, Grandmothers look at different protein choices like beans or even canned fish. And when they buy meat, they usually buy it in bulk, storing the excess deep in the freezer to utilize for other meals. Going meatless is also economical and globally friendly, which is integral for some main reasons why people go frugal. To save and make a change in their lives. 8. Do not pay for entertainment. There are ways to entertain yourself without breaking the bank, and our grandmothers are masters of them. One way we can take this bit of tip in our frugal life is by visiting public libraries. Libraries are not just for books. Many have an archive of movies and board games readily available for a fun day. It also costs next to nothing to borrow books instead of purchasing them, while renting out movies can help us save money that we pay for online streaming platforms. 7. Get a side hustle. For people trying to achieve financial stability, one rule book we can take from our grandmothers is to turn our free time into extra income. 
If you like knitting or making things with a thread, you can sell them online for a fee, which could also work for bakers or crafters. The money you can get from your side hustle can start an emergency fund that could be critical during difficult times. Aside from capitalizing on your hobbies, a lot of work is available online, and it would only take a few hours of your weekend to earn some coins. 6. Evaluate, essential, bills, and cut at least one. Because of all the hobbies and interests our grandmothers cultivate in their life, they have no time to be idle and pay for cable TV, which they primarily consider unnecessary. With all the available streaming platforms and subscriptions on the internet today, we can pick one instead of going for every single one of them, which we will open only an average of two times a week. This habit can save anyone at least $20 or more each month. 5. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Comparing someone's self to your neighbors is not new. But this has become more evident now due to social media. You should replace or buy stuff because you need to not because you feel pressured to keep up with what others have. This is easier said than done and would require a lot of inner work, but once you master this tip, you can shift your perspective and learn how to live frugally. 4. Pool resources from everyone you know. One of the misconceptions about living frugally is that you cannot have fun at all, but that is not the case. People who live frugally are creative, including when having and hosting parties at home. Many grandmothers taught us to source resources from our neighbors or people we know first before purchasing something. This will include borrowing extra chairs or tables you could use for dinner or other power tools you need. 3. Limit home and tech upgrades. Do your research extensively, or buy used. Refreshing home decorations or even the smartphone we use is a foreign concept to many grandmothers. You might remember fondly how the sofa in grandma's home when you were five is still the same one you are sitting on 20 years later. This is because they don't consider buying first, but instead look into repairing items that can still be used. If you want to upgrade something, do extensive research before splurging on upgrades. 2. Make handmade gifts. Regarding gift giving, some can remember how grandma's handmade scarf is always the best thing we get during birthdays or holidays. We can take this cue and opt for making something instead of purchasing it when you need to give someone a gift. Handmade gifts are acts of service, and the effort and the creativity that come with them are always more worth it than throwing dollars on something. 1. Practice self-reliance. Whether something breaks, eliminate the need to throw dollars at someone and try to find a way to fix it on your own. If you can do simple repairs around your home, then you can save money for not having to hire someone to do it for you like fixing a leaky faucet. This self-reliance can also extend to self-care, like learning how to do your hair or nails. In the end, it also helps you learn new skills, which you might also be able to use to earn side income. Living frugally is easier said than done, but constant practice makes progress. Every single step you take to live frugally counts. There is no bad or slow progress. So there you have our granny approved and tested frugal living tips that will help us reach our goal of living the life we want by being financially stable through living frugally. There are many benefits to living frugally, not just for ourselves, and we only have to remind ourselves of that every single day.